I got a chance to uh, look at the Quest 3 headset, and it is amazing. Um, you've, you've announced it. It's, uh, you'll give some more details in the fall. Maybe release in the fall. When is it getting released again? I forgot you, you mentioned it to me. We'll give more details at Connect, okay. but, but it's coming, it's coming this fall. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, priced at, uh, 499. What features are you most excited about there? There are basically two big new things that we've added to Quest 3 over Quest 2. The first is high resolution mixed reality. Um, and the the basic idea here is that you can think about virtual reality as you have the headset and you know, like all the pixels are virtual and you're basically like immersed in a different world. Mixed reality is where you see the physical world around you and you can place virtual objects in it, whether that's a screen to watch a movie or a projection of your virtual desktop or you're playing a game where like zombies are coming out through the wall and you need to shoot them. Um, or, you know, we're, you know, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons or some board game and we just have a virtual version of the board in front of us while we're sitting here. Um, all that's possible in mixed reality. And I think that that is going to be the next big capability on top of virtual reality. It is done so well. I have to say, as a person who experienced it today with zombies, <laughs> having a full awareness of, the environment and integrating that environment in the way they run at you while they try to kill you. So it's, it's, uh, it's just the, the mixed reality, the pass through is really, really, really well done. Uh, and the fact that it's only $500 is really, it's uh, well done. Thank you. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about it. I mean, our, I mean, we put a lot of work into making the device both as good as possible and as affordable as possible because a big part of our mission and ethos here is we 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 want people to be able to connect with each other we want to reach and we want to serve a lot of people right we want to bring this technology to to everyone right so we're not just trying to serve like a you know an elite a wealthy crowd we we want to um we, we really want this to be accessible so that that is in, in a lot of ways a, an extremely hard technical problem because you know we don't just have the ability to put an unlimited amount of hardware and thus we needed to basically deliver something that works really well but in an, an affordable package and we started with quest pro last year it was um it's it's it was fifteen hundred dollars um and now we've we've lowered the price to a thousand but in a lot of ways the mixed reality in quest 3 is at, ev at an even better and more advanced level than what we were able to deliver in quest pro so i'm, I'm really proud of where we are with with um with quest 3 on that it's going to work with all of the virtual reality titles and everything that that existed there. So people who want to play fully immersive games, social experiences, fitness, all that stuff will will work. But now you'll also get mixed reality too, um, which I think people really like because it's um, sometimes you want to be super immersed in a game, but a lot of the time, especially when you're moving around, if you're active, like you're you're doing some fitness experience, um, you know, let's say you're you're like doing boxing or something. It's like, you kind of want to be able to see the room around you. So that way you know that like, I'm not going to punch a lamp or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you got to play with this experience, but yeah. I mean, we basically have the, I and mean, it's just sort of like a fun little little demo that we put together. But it's um, it's like you just, you know, you, we're like in a conference room or your living room and you you have um, the guy there and you're boxing him and you're fighting him. And it's like- All the other people are there too. I got a chance to do that. Yeah. And all the people are there. Uh, it, it, it's like that guy's right there. Yeah. It's and, like it's right and, in the room. And the other human, the, the, the path, yeah. you're seeing them also, they can cheer you on, they can make fun of you yeah. if you, they're anything like friends of mine. And then just, it, yeah, it, 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 it's really, it's a really compelling experience. I mean, VR is really interesting too, but this is something else almost. This is, this becomes yeah. integrated into your life, into your world. Yeah, and it, so I think it's a completely new capability that will unlock a lot of different content. And I think it'll also just make the experience more comfortable for a set of people who didn't want to have only fully immersive experiences. I think if you want experiences where you're grounded in, you know, your living room and the physical world around you, now you'll be able to have that too. And I think that that's pretty exciting. I really liked how it added windows to a room with no windows. Yeah. 
me as a person. Did you see the aquarium one where you could see the shark swim up, or, or was oh, that no, just the zombie one? Just where, the zombie yeah. one, but it's still outside. you don't you don't want you don't necessarily want windows added to your living room where zombies come out of. But, but yes, yeah, so in the context of that it. game, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's I good. enjoyed it because you could see the nature outside. And uh, me as a person that doesn't have windows, it's just nice to have nature. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> even even if it's a, a mixed reality setting. It was, it's kind of, like there's a, I know it's a zombie game, but there's a Zen nature, Zen aspect to being able to look outside and alter your environment as you know it. Yeah. In, in, in um, There will probably be better, more Zen ways to do that than the zombie yes. game you're describing, but I, you're right that the the basic idea of, of sort of having your physical environment on pass through, but then being able to bring in different elements external i mean it's, I, I think it's going to be super powerful and in some ways i think that these are mixed reality is also a predecessor to eventually we will get ar glasses that are not kind of the goggles form factor of the current generation of of, of headsets that that people are making um but i think a lot of the experiences that developers are making for mixed reality of basically you just have a kind of a hologram that you're putting in the world will hopefully apply once we once we get the the AR glasses too. Now that's got its own whole set of challenges, and it's um. Well, the headset's already smaller than the, the previous version. Oh yeah, so it's forty percent getting... thinner. And the other thing that I think is good about it, it's yeah. So mixed reality was the first big thing. The second is it's just a great VR headset. It's I mean it's got two x the graphics processing power, um, forty percent sharper screens, forty percent thinner, more comfortable, better strap architecture, all this stuff that. You know, if you liked Quest Two, I think that this is just going to be. You know, it's like all this, all the content that you might have played in Quest Two is just going to get sharper automatically and, and look better in this. So it's, um, I, I think people are really going to like it. Yeah. So this fall, 